Hello and welcome to the first day of music and movement class for kids. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm going to go through a few things before we actually get started with the music, just to, as a reminder. Um, I want you to make sure your grown up clicks subscribe on our YouTube channel and turns on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the classes this week. And also, I want them to go on our Facebook page for McKee Music Therapy and follow there. We are going to have a giveaway on Friday. And if you would like a chance to win a super awesome drum, then you need to have your parent or your grown up click subscribe on YouTube and follow on Facebook so you don't miss out on that and you have a chance to win the drum. Anyways, today we have a theme and you're going to have to guess it. But before we get started with that, let us um, remind you what you might want for the class today. I put it up on the Facebook each night. So if you're grown up saw it last night, that's great if you have it today. If you don't, you can run around your house right now and get the things you need. So I'm going to put my guitar down for a second. I'm going to grab, oh, I'm going out of for a second. If you have any instruments at home, you might have a xylophone around your room. You might have a maraca or maybe you have a shaker egg or even a drum. My thumb's upside down holding all the instruments. If you have any of those at home, run around and grab them right now so you can play along. If you don't have any instruments, that is perfectly fine. Let me give you a couple ideas what you can use. There are a lot of instrument possibilities if you go to your kitchen. If you find just a regular old mixing bowl, it can be little, it can be big. This one's really big. And a wooden spoon or a wooden spatula. You have yourself a drum. If you have two wooden spoons or spatulas, you have some rhythm sticks you can click together. If you would like a shaker, Go on over to the spice cabinet and get a spice bottle so that you can shake. Make sure the lid's on tight so you don't have, this is sesame seeds going all over your house. Or you can grab a box of breadcrumbs or even a box of macaroni and cheese. That works really well for shaking. And tonight, if you wanna be ready for tomorrow, if you have any old Easter eggs lying around, all the plastic Easter eggs that you have for your Easter egg hunt, Fill those up with some beans or rice and tape them really well. And there you're going to have your own shaker egg. So what do you, whatever you have, use that. And if you don't have any of those, that's fine too. You have your body, the most wonderful instrument of all. You can tap your lap. You can clap your hands. If you can snap or click your fingers, you can do that. Or you can just dance around. So here we go. Let's get started. It's time for music. It's time today. Trying to coordinate everything on my tiny little um, stool with my computer. Here we go. Hello to Ashley. Hello, Thomas. Hello to Gabrielle, Nicola, and Jacqueline. Hello, Olivia. Is the an Emma too? Hello to Angela. Welcome to music today. Tell 
you are playing your instruments along or singing or dancing, if you would like me to say your name tomorrow, make sure your grown up puts your name on the post on Facebook so I can see it. I checked all the names right before class just a few minutes ago and printed those out. So if you want your name tomorrow, just have them put it on Facebook and I will be happy to welcome you as well. Mm -hmm. So today we have a theme and I'm gonna pull out a hint. You're gonna guess what the theme is for today. I have an apple, but I can't eat it. It's a shaker, isn't that silly? And I have a potato, also a shaker. I am missing my banana, but as I tell my kids, let's just find a solution. I couldn't find a shaker banana, so I brought the potato. What do you think the theme for today could be? If you guessed food, you are right. Today we are gonna do all songs and activities about food. And for tomorrow, tomorrow's activity, I would like you to pick out some of your favorite stuffed loveys. Maybe the lovey that you sleep with or that you make up stories with. I want you to bring those tomorrow for tomorrow's theme. But today is all about food. So we are done with the hello song. I'm gonna put that down. And we are going to get to our song that I love about food. And if I had my banana, that would be even better, but I don't, so we only have the potato and the apple. But I think you might know this song. So if you have a shaker, shake it along. If you have a drum, play that with me. If you don't have any, just tap your hands or clap your hands to help me sing this song. We are gonna go over our vowels as well while we sing it. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. The first vowel that we learn on A E I O U is A. You ready? We get our A's out. A like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. A like to eat. Yes, I know the muffin man who lives on Turkey. 
chocolate chip muffins and apple streusel muffins and bran muffins. Oh, so many yummy ones. I'm going to be very hungry after class today. And let's think. What other songs are there about food that you've heard? Hmm. I think I may have heard a song about hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot Maybe some of you, especially in areas like Australia, I know I have some people that tune in from Australia, they like to make hot cross buns over there. So let's sing that one more time. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Now, my next song, I'm going to need some help. I have some friends over here. Let's see if I can be tricky and play the guitar and hold a puppet at the same time. Do you think it can happen? I don't know. I actually haven't practiced this one with a puppet. So we'll see if it works. I have some frogs. You see that? Ribbit, ribbit. And does anyone know what frogs eat? It's kind of gross. They eat flies. They have very long tongues that get the fly. Ugh, yuck. But anyways, they love it. They think it's delicious. And that's good because less flies for my yard. So... We're gonna count how many frogs do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. That is right, Thomas. It is five, five frogs. So here we go. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are one, two, three, four green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Now four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are one, two, three green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are one. Two green speckled frogs, a ribbit, a ribbit. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is just one green speckled frog, ribbit, ribbit. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no more speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Oh, that's so silly. I think it is time to stand up and get some of our wiggles out. I'm going to move my computer back and let's see if I stand up. If you can see me. Uh oh. Let's see what else I can do here. Be looking up at me like this. Here we go. The strap on. Now we have a few songs that we can dance to 
that are also about food. You ready? We're going to get our arms ready. One arm is going to go on this hip. One arm is going to go up here. And if anyone knows this, help me out. You ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. When I get a tip, tip, we shout. Tip me on your end, pour me out. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's get those wiggles out. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. When I get a tip, I hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. And then I have another song that you may not know. I remember singing it when I was in kindergarten. And I'm going to pull up the words here in case I forget one of the verses. And here we go. We are going to act out this song. We are going to be farmers because farmers are who make our food. They grow our food for us. So we are very thankful for them. We're going to act out what a farmer does. Here we go. Oats, these beans, and barley grow. Oats, these beans, and barley grow. Do you or I or anyone know? Oats, these beans, and barley grow. Now, what does the farmer do first? They have to plant all those seeds. So get your fingers out. Plant all those seeds on the ground. Here we go. First the farmer plants the seeds. Then he stands and takes the seeds. It is very hard work to be a farmer, so you have to take your ease. Then you're going to stamp your foot, clap your hands, turn around, and view your land. Oops, these things are better go. Oops, these things are go. You can your any one now. Oops, these things are better go. Now, after you plant your seeds, you have to hold or water the seeds. So we're going to water the seeds. Get out your watering bucket or your hose, whatever you like to have water with. Then the farmer waters the seeds. Then he stands and takes his ease. It is hard work farming. Stamp your foot, clap your hands, turn around and view your land. Oh, seeds, beans, and barley go. Oh, seeds, beans, and barley go. Do you want your ready for no more? Oh, seeds, beans, and barley grow. Now, after watering them, sometimes what happens, and it is raining today here at my house in California, which is very unusual, but it is. But after it rains, you know what comes up out of the ground? Weeds. We don't want weeds in our farm because they won't let the good crops grow. So you have to get your hoe. If you don't know what a hoe is, it is a long stick, and at the end there is a flat piece. And that digs into the ground to get the weeds out. So let's get our hoe, and we're going to whack it into the ground to get those weeds out. Then the farmer hoes the weeds. Then he stands and takes his ease. Stands his foot, claps his hands. Turn it around and use the land. Oh, it's the seeds and barley go. Oh, it's the seeds and barley go. Do you find anyone else? Oh, it's the seeds and barley go. Now comes the best part. We get to pick our food. Now let's see, who planted carrots? Anyone out there plant carrots? Or beans? Or oats? Or barley? Or tomatoes? Or some cucumbers. Let's see. So now we're going to reach down and pick out your fruits or your vegetables. Maybe some of you strawberries or raspberries. Then the farmer harvests his um, seed. Then he stands and takes his ease. Stands his foot, claps his hands, turns around to view the land. Oh, he's in the body, oh, he's in the body. One more time. Oats, these beans, and barley grow. Oats, these beans, and barley grow. Do you or I or anyone know how oats, these beans, and barley grow? Wonderful job. Now we are done with that song. So I'm going to sit back down here. And if you got out, let me fix that so you can see my face and not just my forehead or my stomach. So 
after we get that, if you got out a blanket, you just need a little one. Maybe if your mom or dad used to wrap you up in a little baby blanket, or if you have a parachute at home, but most people don't have a parachute. That's just silly. So if you don't have a parachute, get out a little receiving blanket or a little baby blanket, or if you cuddle one at night and use it as our parachute. We are going to pop some popcorn. So I'm gonna move this computer back. I'm actually gonna get down on the ground here and move my shaker apple that's in the way. And let's see if the computer can be my friend. If you have a grown up with you or a brother or a sister or a cousin or a friend with you, have them hold one side of the parachute and you hold the other side. Now, if you have some soft balls or some little stuffed animal friends, I have, these are the back loofahs, but they meant great pom poms for a parachute. So I'm going to dump a bunch of those. I have a whole bunch. I have, let's see, I have purple, I have pink, I have green, um, I have blue, so maybe you know blue is your favorite color. So I'm gonna dump them all out. Look at that. So many pom-poms. Let's see if my computer can hold the other side. Are you ready? Uh, okay, here we go. So we gotta put our kernels in the pot, and then we're gonna pop them. Has anyone ever watched popcorn being popped? Here we go. We have our kernels in the pot. We're gonna shake them. And then I'm gonna sing a song, and only shake the parachute when I say shake. So you have to listen hard, listen with your ear, only shake it when I say shake. Are you ready? Let's try it. We're gonna go, la, 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 shake, shake. Now we stop. La, 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 shake, shake, stop. La, 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 shake, shake, stop. La 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 shake shake stop la la shake it shake it shake it and shake it shake it shake it and shake it shake it shake it and shake it shake it stop there we go let's grab all our pretend popcorn and put it back on the parachute I'm gonna grab my pink and my purple and my blue and put them on there and I'm gonna stick this back under the computer mine fell out let's see if I can do it a little better this time. Let's see if I hook it over the top, maybe that'll work. Hopefully the whole computer doesn't come flying off. But anyways, here we go. Let's try it again, you ready? I have my um, pom-poms on, let me put this so you maybe you can see it a little better. La 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 la, shake shake. La 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 la, shake shake stop. La 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 la, shake shake. La 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 la, shake shake and stop. So I'm gonna get those pom poms right in the middle and ready. La la, shake it, 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 shake Good job. Did you get your popcorn to go flying in the sky? If you have a friend or a grown up with you, or a brother or a sister, you can get those pom poms probably to hit the ceiling. I bet you can. You gotta use your big muscles and get them up there. Let's try it one more time, because this is always so fun. La 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 shake shake. La 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 shake shake. La 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 shake shake. La 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 shake shake. La la shake it, 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 and stop. Oh, that is a lot of work. Let me get my pom poms that went on my computer off. Wonderful job. And I'm gonna take my parachute off and put that over there. Now, ah, are you a little tired? I got my muscles going and I'm a little bit tired, so I'm gonna sit down. And I have another um, song for you. Use my drum here. That's a little stool for my computer. I think that might be a little better. Here we go. I brought a friend today and she is kind of hungry. She eats kind of funny things though. So I wouldn't suggest eating the things she eats, but she likes it, so we'll let her eat it. This is my old lady. She's a little funny, but that's how she is. Does anyone know this song? You might have the book at home. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed that fly. Oh my, 
There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. Uh, she swallowed the bird to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh my. There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. I don't know how she did that. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh my. There was an old lady who swallowed a dog. What a hon to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh my, there was an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed that cow. <clears throat> She swallowed the cow to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh my, there was an old lady who swallowed a horse. Oh, of course she swallowed that horse. <laughs> She swallowed the horse to catch the cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Oh my. That's a crazy old lady, huh? Here we go. Let's put her down. Let me get out. Hold on. I'm going to grab my list here. We are gonna sing one more song before we sing goodbye. And here we go. We have another song that if you watched our ukulele class, which there's a ukulele class on our YouTube channel, I'm sure you can learn fairly easy. Even my little toddler learned the C chord because that's just one string. But anyways, if you were in that class, you heard this song. The farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. The farmer takes the wife, the farmer takes the wife, I all the dairy, oh, the farmer takes the wife, the wife takes the child, the wife takes the child, I all the dairy, oh, the wife takes the child. If you have your drum or your mixing bowl with a spoon or your shaker, play it now. Here we go. No. Do we say the wife takes the child? If not, let's do it again. The wife takes the child, the wife takes the child. I hold the dairy, oh, the wife takes the child. The child takes the nurse, the child takes the nurse. I hold the dairy, oh, the child takes the nurse. The nurse takes the dog, the nurse takes the dog. I hold the dairy, oh, the nurse takes the dog. The dog takes the cat, the dog takes the cat. I hold the dairy, oh, the dog takes the cat. You're thinking, Where's food in this song? Don't worry, it's in the last verse. The cat takes the rat, the cat takes the rat. I am all the dairy, oh, the cat takes the rat. Here comes the foodie. We said all the songs are about food today. The rat takes the cheese, the rat takes the cheese. I am all the dairy, oh, the rat takes the cheese. The cheese stands alone, the cheese stands alone. I hold the dairy, oh, the cheese stands alone. There we go. See, there was food in that song. And we are at the end, but we're going to sing a couple songs to sing goodbye. Here we go. What was your favorite part of music? What was your favorite part of music? What did you like? What did you like? What was your favorite part of music? What was your favorite part of music? What was your favorite part of music? What did you like? What did you like? What was your favorite part of music? We did a lot today. We sang songs. We pretended we were a teapot. We planted 
a farm with our oats, peas, beans, and barley growing. We popped popcorn in the parachute. What else did we do? We fed the old lady some crazy food. And we sang a lot of songs about food. So, what was your favorite part of music? What was your favorite part of music? What did you like? song in a song, put it up on our Facebook post so that I can print it out before class starts and sing um, your child's name along. Here we go. It's time for us to go. It's time for us to go. Goodbye everyone. It's time for us to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.